away with everything diamond painting. Um, I got a few things to show you today. I'm just going to do a, a probably a quick video. I've purchased some items and I wanted to show you what I got. So one of the first things is, is another pen. I got this other pen from Custom, Di Custom Diamond Painting Pens by TJ. Kind of been one of my favorite uh, pen companies. Um, I've gotten several from them. I've showed you um, a lot of them. Um, this one is called Botanical Gardens. And I love the wood. I love the hybrid and the wood. And this one caught my eye. And I know it's probably hard to see on here on the camera, but there's like little um, flowers or leaves in here. How he does that, I don't know. But um, it's a beautiful pen. And oh, I've got to mention my, my uh, Lexi Lilycraft tips. And also, um, Lexi, I ordered some more... Lexi Lilycraft tips and she sent me a straightener to try. So this is another 3D painting item that she's coming out with. Lexi Lilycrafts. But anyway, back to the pen. Um, I just really like this one. So other than my um, bunny rabbit pen that I uh, won in their auction, um, this one is my next favorite of theirs. So, anyway, so I just wanted to show you that. And what else do I have here? Okay, I have a item that I won from Bella Art De Nicole. And I went on her live last Saturday for their for her birthday. Um, she was doing a live giveaways and she had three um chances to win and you just uh, picked a number between one and 250 i guess because there were a lot of people on the live and on the second drawing my number came up and so i won this never bought one of her um drill trays before her stackers so this is a good way to try them and see what they're like um, this is an eight eight tray but it's one of those ones that slide out so you can use it as one or a stacker and um, it's got her little sticker on the bottom here can you see that there we go and um i think it's pretty neat so it's kind of like hmm, maybe i should try the other ones that she has Let's see if i get this back in here and it just goes, oh, uh-oh, something came out. Well, that wasn't a good thing to do, was it? Okay, well, we'll have to try to fix that later. Woo, not a good sign, Bella Art and Nicole. Um, anyway, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I don't know if that'll go back in there or not. It's where did the oh so it probably goes back in here huh let's see oh just like that there we go let's see if i can get it in there this time or maybe i had it upside down let's see let's try it this way oh dear oh dear all right there we go all right i feel better it was my fault i feel better and it probably it didn't go in there all the way i'm gonna have to fix that later okay I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not too good to have to have that on camera. Anyway, I got a little sticker with it. So I'm going to stick that on top of there. And um, I use these small trays a lot on my stacker. I know I have, you know, I have that red one from um, Amazon. But I do have a couple of stack sizes that only have like eight colors in them. So this will work just fine. And my little trays go right in there. So, um and it's a nice uh, pink silk color. So anyway, yeah, I like it. So I might kind of look at their website to see if there's anything else that I might want to get. Okay. Um, another little thing I got is uh, from my friend Nicole at Nikki's Custom Design. 
or Nikki's custom resin design. Um, she's a good Facebook friend of mine now. Um, this is a little, well, it's a trinket box. It's a trash drill box, which is what I'm going to use it for. And it's nice and sparkly. I love it. Nice and sparkly. And the inside, it's got little sparkles in there too. And if you can see all these sparkles, oh, they're so pretty. And it's a purple color. And purple is a good color for me too. Burgundy there. And I love it because it has the cover. So I won't have a chance of knocking it over. Well, at least the cover will come off first anyway. Anyway, um, you guys, I'll, I'll have these links um, in the description box of my video. And you guys have to check her out because she makes some really nice. She's the one I got the feather tray from for my pens. Okay, this next thing I got is from Following the Grain. It's another pen, of course. Can we get that focused on there? Will that focus? Okay, following the grain. I don't know if it wants to focus. It did for a second there. There it is, following the grain. There we go, there we go. Okay, and he's on Facebook. Well, he's on Etsy. That's how I found him on Etsy. And um, this is the box that came in. Now, a little story to this. Kind of, I didn't get a packing slip with it. Um, he had emailed me on the day that he was mailing this out to tell me he had a little accident in the morning where he was getting ready to to uh, package this up and he had a cup of coffee on the table and he spilled it and, of course, the packing slip and everything got soaked with coffee. So he had to repackage it and this is how it came. So I don't have a, a shipping receipt or anything with it. But I do have the lovely pen that I ordered, so I'll be happy about that. And lovely pen, it looks like. This is called Caribbean Walk. Oh, my goodness. That is beautiful. Look at the colors in that. And he has his single tip. And, oh, a nice straightener. It looks like, like a 10-place straightener. Well, that's cool. So I got nice straighteners now. I got the one from Lexi Lily Crafts and this larger one now. But isn't that a beautiful pen? Let's see if we can get a better close-up of this. See it? It's just beautiful, isn't it? Yes, sirree. Okay. So I think my um, my pen holders are fill the bundigas with pens. I might have to buy another one. And he's added these tips in there, too, I just noticed. Let me get these out. Okay. And uh, a lot of these, they don't come marked. But uh, I don't know. That looks like maybe a, a seven placer or an eight placer. I'm not really good at guessing those. Um, this looks like maybe a five. And I like when they have the numbers on them, so I know. This one looks like a three. And, the, oh, another straightener. Now I got a small straightener for those small little places. Cool. See that small little placer? All righty. That's cool. All right. So that's pretty neat. So I got straighteners of all sizes now, which is really good because I need them a lot. Okay, the next and final thing I have right now is a painting, and it's from Home Craftology, and there is a story that goes with this. I ordered it in, oh gosh, last year, probably around Christmas time, and I got it. It was a double-sided adhesive, I, I believe. Yeah, because I had some tissue, I uh, put parchment paper on it, so... I know that because when I got ready to start working on it, um, I had to take the parchment paper off. Um, this is the painting. <laughs> the story with it is, um, I started to work on it and 
Okay, <laughs> you're going, what has happened to this painting? Oh my gosh. So let me tell you. The glue on this was so sticky. And the three tendrils, see this, all this area here is all three tens, all three tens in the background. Multiplacing three tens. Um, all of this. And I started placing the three tens on there. And once the three, once the drill got on there, if I made a mistake and it was crooked, I could not straighten that sucker. So what was happening, the drills were so off shape, some were big, some were large, some were high, some were small, that as I started to do each square, they would run over the square into the next one. So by the time I got up to like this color here, it was uh, the black, the three tens were running into the colors. So I try to start taking them off to, to replace the drills because I had trouble taking them off. Once they were on here, I couldn't take them off. But when I come back later on or the next day to finish working on it, all I had to do was rub over with my hand and they're still, they're still coming off. I can feel them. They're still coming off. Yep. Um, I just roll my hand across it, and if you see all these blanks, these were all where the three tins were falling off. So not only did they not fit right, and they wouldn't come off when I wanted to come off, they would fall off by themselves just by, because they were so, so like I said, there were a lot of ones that were thicker than others, and so when my hand brushed across, and they're still falling off, I still see some <laughs> falling on the table here. Anyway, so I just got so upset. So I looked at some videos of people taking double-sided tape off. And um, I thought, okay, so I'm going to try that. And then I'll put some more glue on and we'll be fine. Well, I started off in this corner. And oh my gosh, it was hard to even get this much off. So this is all I could manage right in here to get off. The painting and these little scraps here are, are where I was trying to pull them off and I just could not get them off I was trying everywhere you could see in here all the places I got so frustrated I folded it up to see okay let's fold it up and then if I pull it apart maybe the glue will come off well it didn't work it just got so stuck so I just crumbled the whole thing up I crumbled it and I, it still takes me a while to get it apart because it's still sticky there. I just can't get the glue off. So I emailed them a nice long letter and told them what my problem is with this and how I was very disappointed with the painting. And, you know, I don't want my money back. I want the painting because it was with a series of ladies that have hats on them. And I said, what can you do to help me? So I thought, I'm probably never going to hear from them because I didn't know who Home Craftology was. But um, a couple of days later, I get an email back from them and they said, we're so sorry. You know, we really want to make this good. Here are some suggestions that maybe you can try first before, you know, you send it back or whatever. So I read all the suggestions and I said, yeah, I already tried that. I said, I just got so frustrated with it. I just crinkled it up and was ready to throw it out. So that was my answer back to them. And then they sent back a couple days later and said, can you take some pictures of it? So I took pictures of the drills. I took pictures of the painting and I sent that to them. Lo and behold, you know, first of all, I was surprised that they were even answering because most companies you write to and tell them how bad it is. They, you never hear from them again. Anyway, she, um, wrote back and uh, said, tell you what, I saw the pictures. We'll send you out a brand. Oh, excuse me. We'll send you out a brand new painting. And I went, wow, thank you. And she goes, how are the drills? And I go, 
well, the the colored ones I use seem to be fine. I said, but it's these three tens that are terrible. I can't, I just can't use them. And so she said, well, we'll send you a replacement of the three tens also. And I told her how many bags I had. There were 66 bags. And I finally got these. Oh, well, that's part of the story. So let me continue. So I said, you know, if you could replace the three tens. And she goes, certainly. She goes, we'll get right on it. We'll get a painting together for you and we'll mail it out. Well, it takes a long time to get from them. So it took about a month and a half, maybe two months for me to get the new picture. And uh, I took it out of the box already. I'll have to say that, but I'm going to show you what it, the box it came in. I'd already had, oh, and by the way, I already had all the drills um, into their little Tic Tac containers. Everything is labeled. There we go. Everything is labeled. And um, so it was already set to go. So I didn't have to do that. So I said, if you can just send me those drills. And she said, fine. Well, let me show you the new painting. And I'll take it out of the box for you. Let me get these off to the side. Okay, let me do this. Well, here's the painting. And I put it back in the box right away. Um, after all the trouble. Um, I opened it up like this and it was like... Where are my 310 drills? This was all that came, was the painting. So I get back on the email again, and I said, you know, all is dandy. I got my painting. Thank you very much, you know. But I didn't get my drills with it, my 310 drills. And she writes back, oh, we're so sorry. The warehouse forgot to put them in. I'll get those out. So again, I had to wait about another two months, seemed like, I think maybe a little longer, to get my 310 drills. Well... They finally came about a week ago. Slow boat to China, I guess. But anyway, here they are. My 66 bags of 310. <laughs> so I'm thinking, oh, goody, now I can finish the painting. Since then, and I tried to look for it, I lost the packing slip. I know I had checked everything off the first time around, but I cannot find the packing the the packing slip of the picture and the drill numbers and everything. Um, so I'm going to lay these aside here. So anyway, do you want to see the picture now? Let me roll it this way, get some of the wrinkles out of it, and fold it up. Okay, here we go. There's, there's my new picture. And it's poured glue. Look at that. Poured glue. Brand new picture. Here is the picture of the lady on the front. This is what she's supposed to look like. Can you see that? I don't want to get too close. Beautiful painting. I mean, beautiful. It's all uh, white and it's supposed to be diamonds. So, that's the story of my painting. Um, only thing, um, it only has one legend on it. I really didn't notice that the first time around. I wish, you know, I like the ones that have them on both sides, so no matter which way you're painting, you see them. But here's the legend. There's 31 colors, and they're all nice. I think um, 152, I think anything, what, less than 200 or something, or, or is it 150? I don't know, as far as AB goes, I don't remember. Um, these are all the... The drills you can see them nice and clear okay and of course this is all all black it's a number four it's all black but the drill fields really clear it's a lot clearer than on the first one I'll tell you those were so blurry and even now I can see the number four I had to look really close on the other ones to see what the numbers were it was really difficult so, as you can see, all the symbols are clear on this. And it's got some colors in there. There is a, a frame around the painting. So, you got nice reds. And it's going to be a beautiful painting. There's her nice red lips and her necklace. Beautiful hat. The hat is what got me on the picture. I love the pictures of ladies with hats. So, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful picture. It's 
40 by 40. Um, I did have a tape measure out to measure it. Um, I had, hold on, let me go grab it. And see what, see, I don't know if this one's a, oh, maybe it's out of centimeters. I thought I had a centimeter one. That's inches. But I do have a wooden ruler that, um, there's a wooden ruler somewhere that I have. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. It looks like it could be. It, you know, I don't know if it's true to size or not because I don't have my ruler. I thought I had it. I thought I was all prepared, but I'm not. Um, I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't know what happened to it. Anyway, um, I'll measure it afterwards, but um, I don't know if it's 40 by 40 out to here or 40 by 40 um, from the drill line. Uh, most paintings um, uh, uh, don't account for the drill line. They usually are out here to the margins. But the canvas um, is nice. I love, you know, it's a nice firm canvas. And what I was doing on my the other one, um, in here, I was adding some crystal sparklers, a few of them just to give it a touch. But over here, as you can see, there's a frame that goes around the top. And in the picture, it looks really sparkly. So we'll see what happens. But it's a beautiful picture. It's called Lady in Diamonds. And um, I think I'm going to enjoy working on it now that I finally got the drills. Let's see if we get some of these wrinkles out of here. It's very sticky. So is the other one, though. <laughs> anyway, let's see if we can get some of these wrinkles out. Let's see. I don't think. It's flattened out pretty good, so I don't think we need to worry about that. Um, let me put that back. Okay. Anyway. So that's my story about home craftology and because they were so kind and they worked with me email after email i will order from them again um they're wonderful their customer service is beyond compare other than diamond art club i would say they're second to to a diamond art club of course i've you know haven't dealt too many problems with diamond art club except one of them i ran out of drills and they sent me one no pack anyway um that's it um i'm going to um, look on their site and see what else they have now so i will say goodbye now and um hope you enjoyed my little story here and 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 i'm sorry i keep saying and 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 um uh, make sure to Check out my Facebook page, Diamond Painting with Joy. If you haven't joined yet, please do so. Um, if you answer the questions, it's an automatic join. You don't have to be approved. Um, so hopefully I see you there because I put a lot of my videos on there. Um, so you don't have to search for them on the internet. And I share my pictures and um, other people can share their pictures uh, whenever they want. Um, I'd like to get just a nice... Uh, group discussions going. So join me there. Uh, last thing, enjoy. I always want to tell everybody to enjoy your life and make the best of every day because you only go around once in life. And so enjoy it to the fullest and just make sure you tell all your loved ones and your close families, friends that you love them. Um, because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. So just live it to the fullest like this is your last day. Okay. Um, subscribe. Like. And hit that bell. So you get further uh, notifications. Um, I'm thinking about starting to go live on these whipping chats. So uh, keep watch. I'll see how that goes. Okay. Night. In my closing, um, I hope you enjoy my waterfall today. Uh, nice waterfall for Mother's Day. Um, 
I do want to say that I was able to find my centimeter measuring tool last night and I did measure the um, home craftology painting that I'm working on the 40 by 40 it is true to the drill field so I give them a thumbs up for that uh, happy Mother's Day to every mother out there um, hope you're having a great day and relaxing I hope your kids are giving you some um, nice attention and if your kids aren't here then I hope they have gave you a phone call or something <laughs> so I'm gonna say goodbye and uh, Enjoy the waterfall for a few minutes. Okay.